Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel and today we'll finally be looking at Kaspersky Internet Security. This is the 2019 version. And yes, Kaspersky do release their new products very early. The user interface is really good. I've always liked the Kaspersky design scheme. We have some really nice components. I've set everything to automated removal which means any malware we find during the test should automatically be taken care of. If we take a look at file settings, this is where I've made the only change. Action on threat detection is set to delete instead of uh, automatic. And in general, I do have the option to delete malicious tools, adware, auto dialers, and suspicious packagers. The application is up to date, so we're going to get started with the test. As usual, this is going to be the automated test using the malic script. Details can be found on the website www.thepsecuritychannel.com slash test method. I will leave it in the description. And it's really important you go through the website to understand exactly how the test works and how to interpret the results. You can also compare the results on the website, by the way. Looks like everything is good. We have phase one on the desktop, so we can get started with this phase of the test. I'm going to re-enable Kaspersky. Open Task Manager so you can see the resource usage while we're doing the test. Sort everything by CPU. And let's get started. So the test is complete, finally. It took a long time, it'll have to be speeded up a lot for you. But the final proactive detection is 80.46% and the malware removal rate only 27%. But keep in mind Kaspersky heavily relies on its reactive components. It does a lot of analysis, as you might have noticed while we were doing the test. So the telling thing is really going to be whether or not it maintains a clean sheet. So now I'm going to disinfect and restart the computer as it's asking me to, and then we'll do our second opinion scans and figure it out. And to no surprise, Kaspersky manages to keep a spotlessly clean system and qualifies for phase two. A couple of things to note, the resource usage did go up quite a bit during this test, especially when the malware was being executed. And even when I restarted the system, it seems Kaspersky was doing a lot of background tasks. But now that everything is done, the system is fully responsive again. So while Kaspersky does seem to be relatively resource intensive, probably won't affect the system as much as long as there's no malware. However, if you have a really slow system, like slow by today's standards, you are probably not going to enjoy the process that I just went through. So just something to keep in mind. Now let's proceed to phase two.
Phase 2 surprisingly went by much more smoothly than Phase 1. I'm guessing that this is because maybe Kaspersky was doing something else in the background during Phase 1? Or maybe it's just the samples. Anyway, the proactive detection is 96.4%. That's actually very impressive. And the malware removal rate is 81.4%. And as you can see, we have a literal, what do I call it, PUP or puppy on our desktop. This thing's actually really cool. I have no idea why anybody would flag this as malware. I mean, look at this thing. This is amazing. Makes the video so much better. Let's just put him on this uh, PowerShell window. And there you go, it's gonna walk around. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Now I will have to reboot the system again and disinfect, and then we'll do our second opinion scans, and then we'll have the final verdict on Kaspersky. It's time for the final results. So starting off, Norton Power Racer didn't detect anything even with the PUP scan. Malwarebytes, on the other hand, did find a lot of stuff, but we'll talk about this a little bit. Hitman Pro also found one file, and it appears to be Core Temp. Naturally, I did quite a bit of investigation. I found the original files for both of these things on the desktop, which also seem to be the only things detected, by the way. So if you look at the Malwarebytes detections, they're all essentially the Core Temp um, app and nothing else. The first file on the desktop, this one, is not detected by anybody on Total, and rightfully so. I remember installing this application and it was completely optional. I could have pressed cancel at any moment. I just kept hitting next and that's why it was installed. So it doesn't seem like an adware or PUP. It is a casino app, so that is probably why it was flat and in my samples. The other file, however, is much more interesting. It is only detected by one engine when I scan it on Varstotal, but the Malwarebytes detections, it seems to flag everything related to this file. And if I take a look at the file itself and I run it, it does seem to bring up core temp, even though it's actually an older version. If I close it though, it continues to run in Task Manager, which is, I guess, the reason for suspicion. If we scroll down here, actually it doesn't anymore. But I swear, I saw a few minutes ago, a random page just popped up when this thing was open. So it is possible that this application has been modified to act as a PUP or adware, but it is a remote possibility and I cannot deny Kaspersky a clean sheet only on that basis. So overall, I'm giving Kaspersky the clean sheet for this test. It did a great job. No threatening malware came even close to infiltrating the system. Definitely check this out if you're looking for an internet security product. It's actually on the Hall of Fame. I will leave a link for you as well so you can get the best deals and give me a little bit of help. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.